Today I'm going to show you how to build your own ice cream parlour in Minecraft. This features a fun bright design and an inside full of lovely ice cream. And before I start this tutorial I'd really appreciate it if you consider giving the video a little like as it does help me out and I'd highly appreciate that. But with all that said, let's get building. Here are all the materials that you will need. And the plot land you will need is 11 by 13 blocks. So first up, I'm going to grab myself some light blue concrete. And then just starting at the bottom left hand corner here firstly. From this point, I'm going to place one light blue concrete there. And then one on the right side and then one just on the top there to create some sort of L shape. And then from here, I'm going to leave a gap of five. And then when I get on the sick block there, I'm just going to place another two light blue concrete there. And then one behind that. And then just coming around, I'm then going to leave a gap of two. And then I'm going to place a, another seven light blue concrete going across there. I'm just going to mirror that on this side as well. And then coming around to the back, just connecting these ends together to form the back wall there. And then once that's done, I'm just going to extend these points up so they're four blocks high in total. So just starting with these front two walls just there. And then doing the main back wall. And that should leave you with something that looks like this. And the next up for the back walls. So for this, I'm going to grab myself some white concrete. And I'm also going to grab myself some pink concrete as well. So firstly, coming to the back here, firstly, with the pink concrete, I'm going to build up to there. And then I'm just going to extend this along to the other side. And then switching to the white concrete, and then I'm going to go up by two there, and then extend this along as well. And the next up for the flooring. So for this, I'm going to grab myself some block of quartz, and I'm also going to grab myself some white carpet. And also some glowstone. So firstly, with the glowstone, moving to the bottom left hand corner, I'm going to place one glowstone in the corner just there. And then another one on the other side. And then moving to the left on this bit of glowstone, I'm going to leave a gap of four and then place another glowstone there. And then mirroring it on the other side. So you should get something that looks like this. And the next, moving to the white carpet, I'm going to place one bit of white carpet on top of each glowstone. And this is just going to light the floor up a little bit more. And the next up, moving to the block of quartz here, I'm just going to fill in the rest of this whole grass area with all of this. So filling this all up. And that should leave you with something that looks like this. And the next up, I'm now going to grab myself some smooth stone. And then just where this white border is, I'm just going to replace all of that. So just replacing that guide that I marked out. And then once that's done, I'm now going to grab myself some white stained glass panes and also a diorite wall. So for the front entrance here, firstly I'm going to place four white stained glass panes on each side of the main section here. And then I'm going to place one on either side at the bottom there. And then on top of these glass panes I'm then going to add my diorite walls. And then I'm going to place another two panes on top of each wall there. And that will create the main entrance. And then moving to the left hand side, I'm going to fill this window up more glass and then I'm also going to fill up the right window so that should leave you with something that looks like this and the next moving back to the light blue concrete moving to the bottom left hand corner here I'm going to place one concrete there and then I'm going to extend this all the way across so I reach here and then extending this going all the way around building to 
end up with something like this. And then once that's done, moving back to the white concrete, I'm then going to place a strip of white at the back there, extending that wall up. And then next up, I'm now going to grab myself some pink concrete. And firstly, starting from this point here, I'm going to place one there. And I'm just going to build this going all the way around. Just there. And then I'm just going to extend this out by one more block outwards. So just doing this going all the way around. So that should leave you with something that looks like this. And then once that's done, moving back to the white concrete. Firstly, I'm just going to fill in this little section here. Like this. And then I'm going to extend this out by two more blocks. Just there. And then move into the front side. And then go into place two in that corner there. And also extend that out. And then after that, I'm then going to grab myself some glowstone. And then from this middle point, I'm going to place one on the left side and one on the right. I'm going to do this for the other side as well. That's going to be for the lights. And then once all the glowstone has been placed with the white concrete, I'm just filling in the rest of this area. So you should get something that looks like this. And then just going back to the inside here, I'm then going to grab myself some iron trapdoors. And I'm just going to place one trapdoor under each bit of glowstone. And then moving back up to the top, moving back to the white concrete, starting from this point here. I'm going to build all the way across nine blocks in total there. And then I'm just going to go around pretty much covering the outline of this white area in the middle there. Just building this all the way around. So I meet back there. And then I'm just going to extend this whole area up by one more block. And that should leave you with something that looks like this. And then after that, I'm then going to grab some pink concrete. And then I'm just going to mirror what this bottom layer is. Here's so this kind of pink thing. So I'm going to do the exact same thing on top of this white wall here. So again, I'm going to firstly just cover this next layer in some pink there. Just building that all the way around. And then just extending this out by one block way around and that will leave you with something that looks like this and then just to finish off this roof section here with some white concrete on this middle layer here I'm just going to place a row of concrete there and then extend this across to finish off the roof Now with the main building done, we can now add some extra details onto the outside. So firstly, I'm going to grab myself some pink wool, some white wool, got a white carpet, and I'm also going to need a pink carpet, and also some string. So this is going to be for the canopy. So for this, firstly, starting on this block here at the front, I'm going to place one pink wool there, and then I'm going to place a white one, then a pink, a white, and then a, another pink. And then just going under it with any temporary block, just going to place one white concrete there for an example. And then with that, I'm then going to place string just in front of it there. Then I can destroy the temporary block. And then I'm going to extend this string across so it's five blocks along in total there. And then moving to the carpet, I'm going to place one pink carpet in front of all the pink wall there. And then one white carpet in front of the white wall. And that'll give us a nice canopy design there. And then I'm going to do something similar for the side windows. So moving to the right hand side to begin with. One temporary block there. And then two string. And I can destroy that block. And then I'm going to place one pink wall there. One white. And then one pink carpet. And a white carpet next to that. 
the right canopy and then just mirroring that on this other side so again temporary block there and then string and then deleting that temporary block and then one pink wall one white wall and then one pink carpet there one white carpet just there and now create all of our canopies so next up it's now time to create some banners which means we're going to need the loom so first up i'm going to create some ice cream posters so for this i'm going to grab myself some white banners and then i'm going to grab myself some brown dye some yellow dye some pink dye and then some white dye as well and don't worry about the amount i've got here this is just to make my life easier all the amounts will be in the materials list that i showed you at the start so firstly for a vanilla cone design for this I'm going to grab myself some brown dye and I'm going to choose this diamond shape there. So grab that and then with some white dye, I'm then going to choose the top square here. And as you see, that creates a nice kind of cone shape there. So I'm going to grab that and then after that, I'm then going to add some yellow dye. I'm going to choose this circle here. And as you see, that will create a nice vanilla ice cream just there. And the next up for the strawberry ice cream. So Doing the same thing for the cone with some more brown dye. I'm going to choose another brown diamond there. And then I'm then going to add myself a white square on top. And then with some pink dye, using that circle there. And that will give us the strawberry ice cream. And then using these banners, I'm going to place the vanilla one on the right hand side there. And the strawberry one on the left hand side. And that will give us some nice ice cream posters. And the next up for the main ice cream sign itself. So for this, I'm going to grab myself some white banners and also some light blue dye and some white dye. So first up for the eye. So we're going to be spending ice cream here. So putting the white banner in with some light blue dye to begin with. I'm going to choose this top stripe there and then the bottom stripe here. And then the middle stripe and then ordering that off with some white dye just like that that will give us the eye and the next up for the C another white banner in there more blue dye I'm gonna do a top stripe there and then a bottom stripe and then a left stripe and then another border going all the way around And the next up for the E, I'm going to do a left stripe there, and then a top stripe, a middle stripe, and then a bottom stripe. And then moving back to the white dye, another border going around that. And that will give us the first part, the ice bit. And then for the second bit, we've already got a C banner, so you just got to make another one of those. And then for the R, Another white banner in, more blue dye. I'm going to do a left stripe, top stripe, and then a diagonal going down there. And then finishing that off with another white border. That'll go with the R. And then we've already got an E, so you just got to do another one of those. But then for the A, another white banner, and then more blue dye. One stripe on the left. One stripe on the right. One stripe at the top there. And then one stripe in the middle. And then finishing it off with another border for the A. And then to make an M, another white banner in there. With some more blue dye. And then for this, I'm going to do a top triangle like this. And then switching to the white dye, I'm going to do this spiky top pattern there grab that and then switch into the blue dye one left stripe and then one white stripe and then to finish it off another border going around that and by doing that that will give us our ice cream sign and then using these banners coming to the top here starting from this block here I'm going to place the I the C and the E. Then I'm going to leave a gap and then place the C, the R, the E, the A 
and the M, which will give us our ice cream sign just there. And the next up, I'm now going to show you how to create the giant ice cream cone for the top here. So for that, I'm going to grab myself some sandstone and some sandstone slabs to begin with. So firstly, starting at this middle point here, just where the front is. Starting from here, I'm going to count up four. On that fourth block, I'm going to place one sandstone there. And then I'm going to extend this across so it's three. And then I'm going to place one on either side. That will be the base of the cone there. And the next, I'm going to place one sandstone just there. And then I'm going to do this for the other corners. Should end up with something that looks like this. And then just at the front of these two sides, I'm going to place another free sandstone. And I'm just going to do this for each side going around. So that should give you something that looks like this. And then I'm going to extend this out by one more. So again, going up and across there, one sandstone there. Extend that by another two to make that three. I'm just going to do that for the rest of these other sides. Just like that. And then just in these gaps here, I'm going to place one sandstone. Just to fill that up. And then once that's done, I'm now going to move to the sandstone slabs. This is going to be for the rim of the cone. So for this, I'm going to go up and across. Then I'm going to place a another three. I'm going to do that for the rest of these sides going around. And that will give you something like this. And then just in these gaps here, I'm then going to place an L shape kind of to fill that in there. I'm just going to do that for the rest. And then by doing that, that will give us a nice waffle cone design. And the next up for the actual ice cream bit itself. So for this, I'm going to grab myself some quartz. And a quartz slab. So firstly, with the block of quartz, I'm going to place three just there. And then one in between, another three. One in between, another three. One in between, another three. And then one in between there. And I'm just going to extend this up by a, another layer. Just there. And the next up, I'm going to place a temporary block there, but then one quartz on top of that, and then just join the underneath one. Then extending this by another two. So then I should have three blocks there. I'm just going to do this on each side, placing three above just there. So we should be bringing this whole thing one in. And then I'm going to place one block of quartz in each of the corners there. And to top that off, I'm just going to bring this up by one, and then kind of creating like some sort of X shape to cover that. And then for the tip, I'm going to place one quartz block in the middle there. And then one on the right hand side. And to finish off, I'm now going to grab myself a quartz stair. I'm going to place one upside down one just there. So by doing that, that will give us our nice giant ice cream. So with that ice cream place, that is all of the exterior complete. So now onto the interior. So firstly for this, I'm going to grab myself some light blue carpet. And then just starting on this block here, I'm going to place one there. Extending that across so it's three long. And then extending it backward by one just there. And that will give us a nice carpet for the entrance there. And the next stop for the main counter. So for this, I'm going to grab myself some pink concrete. And then starting on this second block here, I'm then going to place six going along just there. And the next up, I'm now going to grab myself a birch gate and also a birch sign. And then for the entrance, I'm going to add a birch gate on the end there. And then for the front, with these birch signs, from this block, I'm going to place four going across there. And the next up for the ice cream serving station. So for this, I'm going to grab myself some white stained glass panes, some cauldrons, some iron trap doors, some armor stands, a leather helmet, a gold helmet, and also some pink dye. 
So firstly, with the white stained glass panes, I'm going to place three just on the left hand side there. And then coming to the back, I'm then going to destroy these three blocks just there. And then with the iron trap doors, I'm going to place three just for the base there. And then with the armor stands, I'm then going to place these on top of each of the trap doors. And then to create all the different flavors, I'm going to be using some different helmets. So for this, I've got a leather helmet for the chocolate ice cream, a golden helmet for the vanilla, and then for the strawberry one, I'm going to dye another leather cap. So for that, if I quickly grab myself a crafting table, I can add one leather cap there with that pink dye, and that'll give us a pink cap. So for the vanilla, placing the gold helmet in the middle there, and then for the chocolate, placing the leather helmet on the right there. And then for the strawberry, placing the pink one on the left there. And then switching to the cauldrons, I'm going to place three cauldrons on top there. And then now I'm also going to grab myself a piston and also a redstone block. I'm just going to place three pistons on top of these cauldrons there. And then one redstone block that will power them to push them in. And as you see, that will create some nice containers where the ice cream can be displayed. And then just to complete this fridge unit with some more iron trap doors firstly i'm just from this point i'm going to dig down three blocks i'm going to do this all the way across there and then going down i'm then going to dig in by three blocks just here and then here i'm also going to grab myself a lever but before i do that i need to actually place the trap doors so for these iron trap doors firstly i'm going to place three at the front there and then one on the left hand side and then one on the right hand side and then coming back down I'm also going to destroy one block on either side and then forward by one you should end up with something that looks like this then I'm going to place one lever on each side and then three at the front and then I'm going to flick all of these up and as you see that will create a nice cage for our ice creams there and then once that's done I'm just going to fill this in and then for the counter I'm now going to grab myself a quartz there and also a birch pressure plate and then I'm going to place one quartz there in the middle there and then a birch pressure plate on the right hand side and the next up for a menu board so for this I'm going to grab myself some chains some black wool some item frames and also some yellow dye, some pink dye and some brown dye. For this menu board, starting from this third block here, just going to follow that up to this block here and then going to place one chain there and leaving the gap, placing another chain on the other side and then with some black wool, I'm going to place three just below there. And then switching to the item frames, I'm then going to place three item frames at the front there. And then I'm just going to fill each of these with these different dyes for each of the ice cream flavours. So yellow for the vanilla, brown for the chocolate, and then pink for the strawberry there. And if you want to add different flavours to your ice cream shop, you can choose different coloured dyes. And you can also dye some leather helmets different colours. For example, for a mint chocolate chip, you could do a cyan helmet. That could look quite cool. So that will complete the front section. And then moving to the actual kitchen area. So first up, for a fridge design, I'm going to grab myself some pistons. So for this, I'm going to place three pistons on the left and three pistons on the right. That will create the fridge. And the next up, I'm now going to grab myself a shulker box. I'm just going to place five going along here. And the next up for a Mr. Whippy machine. So for this, I'm going to grab myself an iron trap door, an iron block, a lever, and a polished diorite stair. So for this machine, firstly, I'm going to place one block of iron there with a lever at the front. And then on the left hand side, I'm going to place an iron trap door. And then on top of this, I'm then going to add a polished diorite stair there. And that'll give us the Mr. Whippy machine. And that'll create the main kitchen area there. 
And then for an extra little feature here, I've got myself a custom ice cream cone head here. And if you want to know how to get these, I will show you now. So if you head over to minecraftheads.com, there are loads of custom heads to choose from. So you just type in what you're searching for. And as you can see, there will be loads of heads you can choose from here. And if you choose your one and then copy one of the commands for the correct version, paste it in a command block and that will give you your head. Happy days. Unfortunately, these custom heads are only available in Java edition of Minecraft. So first I'm going to place one lovely ice cream at the front there. And then another one just at the back next to the machine. And there we have it. That is the ice cream parlor all complete. I hope you did enjoy this tutorial. And I hope you are pleased with your result. And if you did enjoy this tutorial, I'd really appreciate a smash on that like button. As that would help me out hugely and I'd appreciate that. And also, if you want to hang with me in the Discord, the link there is in the description. But yeah, so thanks for watching and have a good day.